our big introduction is certainly the Leica M8, which is our flagship right. product. Um, the M series is known for many uh, M photographers and Leica photographers for a long time. We made the first M camera in 1954 and uh, moved on over time. Had several M cameras, which have always been analog cameras. And now for the first time we are introducing a digital rangefinder camera, which is the first professional digital rangefinder camera on the market. It's a 10 megapixel camera, which will um, enable you to use all Leica lenses available on the market, meaning all M lenses ever produced since 1954 will fit on this digital camera um, and give you the highest image quality which you can expect from a Leica. There's a lot of excitement about this camera. One of the things that I think is, is an interesting question is why, why is it that we didn't use a full-frame sensor? <laughs> Leica is very unique in, in terms of the size of a camera with interchangeable lenses and here we have the most compact camera for interchangeable lenses, mm -hmm. the Leica M8 known from the Leica M system. Because of the distance to the sensor the light rays which comes, which comes through the lens are breaking in a very unique angle right. and we actually had to design a sensor with micro lenses in front of each pixel right. to collect out toward, the, out toward the corners. Yes, to correct the light rays and to bring them onto the sensor in a straight. Is that a technology you think could advance and maybe allow you to, to in the future do a full frame or is it, is it determined that this, we that's not, that might not happen? We were exploring this and uh, and working with our partner Kodak on designing different sensors. Okay. Um, this is the first step and um, we feel that this provides you with the highest image quality at this time. Okay. Are there gonna, are there gonna be any other wider angle lenses come out to try and meet the need for wide angle? Uh... Exactly, and in fact, we are introducing a new lens here right. at the okay. show. Okay. It's a 16, 18 and 21 millimeter lens, all in one. It's a trial mar lens. So you select on the lens itself the actual focal length. And, and for this lens, beautiful. we designed a special viewfinder to provide you with oh. the right frame lines because the camera itself, as you know, right. from previous AM cameras, have predetermined viewfinder frame lines, right. which are starting at 28 millimeter and going up to 90 millimeter. Where does the viewfinder mount? Or does it, does it mount on the hot shoe? Or? Uh, the viewfinder. Uh, mounts on the oh, okay. shoe, yes. Wow, that's great. That's going to be exciting. It's, it's a great camera. It's available in silver, chrome, and also black. And, and the price on this guy is a little the different. The price is 4795 4, without, without a lens, and, the, and, a, a lens. and an average lens that you would want. The first lens you want to buy is what? Lenses uh, are available starting at, uh, at about $1,000. Um, what focal length do most people buy first? I think most people will choose a 28 millimeter lens okay. because a 28 millimeter lens with this camera will convert into a 35 millimeter lens okay. and 35 and 50 millimeter lenses always have been the most popular lenses for the M cameras. It's a great standard lens for street photography, for travel photography and documentary photography. Um, that's what a rangefinder is really known for. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's a very that's interesting camera, very exciting. I'm of, uh, of a range finder. I can't wait for, for us to get the review unit. When is that coming? Uh, it's coming very soon. We're actually planning deliveries uh, to start in November. Okay. So uh, that's only a month away from now. That's great. Well, good deal. Well, thank you very much, Christian, for showing us that. Thanks awesome. so much. Thank Appreciate you. it.